after we planned and she was arrived last night. Um, Oh, it was nice to wake up to this morning. Um, beautiful Western uh, Australian weather. So, um, I mean, that's that's a great sign. Uh, look, what we saw last week, um, even though it was great weather, it was a little bit slippery out in the park, so we know that'll be a factor. Um, week's been really good. Um, Queensland's treated us really well. I think we got out just before the rain started over there on the East Coast. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we had a, a great prep. Uh, feels like a really quick prep now we're here. Um, and ready to roll. So, um, no, team's fit, team's ready. We've just got to play a game. It's like, um, you know, everyone has their pre-season and feeling pretty good. We've just had our mini one and we're ready to go now. What's the thinking behind today? What's the thinking behind today? Uh, look, there's, um, we've got full access to players up there. Um, we've got, um, you know, our dedicated facilities, which is pretty sharp. Uh, you know, a walk to, you know, I guess back to, Fox Harbour set up way back in the day, um, and Caloundra before that. You know, you're able to, you know, walk to gym, walk to field, have good recoveries uh, on site. So, in terms of a preparation of play, it, it's like as good as it comes. And yeah, you, you know, you can be stay in a city as, as great as you're on a bus a bit, travelling to and from different areas to get to places, using gyms that aren't um, tailor made. So, but we've been pretty lucky in the, in the setup that we've had. Um, but now it's great to be here. You know, great to be here and get our feet on the ground. Um, a little bit out from the game. Right, but do you miss a bit of sense of occasion when you locked up in Queensland? Sorry? Do you miss a bit of sense of occasion in the build up when you locked up there? Uh, it's not lost on us. Um, these three games coming up, um, you know, from as soon as they're announced, you know, there's uh, there's one eye on these these type of test matches. Um, so we're, we're really excited. You know, it hasn't been, um, history hasn't been in our favour for quite some time now um, against the English, and, you know, we're, we're dead keen to rip in tomorrow. You've had some battles with England over the years, Michael. What are you expecting from them tomorrow? Oh, tough outfit, as, as always. Um, good clinical game. Um, you know, got a good power. Picked a, a power team, you know, um, with some real skill involved in there and some great experience as well. So, um, expecting, you know, a really tough uh, first hit out against them. Because of the recent record, is there a psychological or mental barrier that you need to jump over tomorrow? We just need to get a couple wins under the belt, like little mini wins in the game, and then just keep stacking them on top of each other. We know that uh, you know in games of these sort of um, you know magnitude and the intensity of these games, that it's going to go back and forth for a bit. We just got to stay in the fight, um, you know, throw punches and, and absorb, and then get back on the front foot and keep applying pressure to these guys. Um, we've trained hard against each other. We've uh, it was tough for Dave and his crew to pick a team. So we're well uh, well prepared for, for tomorrow and um, ready to go. Do you bear any scars from the, the last eight games? Do they, they hurt, those defeats? No, it's a motivation. Motivation to win and, and turn the ledger. So we've got three games at home now to do it. It's been a while since we played these fellas out here, so I'm uh, excited about that. What does an England rivalry mean to you? It's such a keen sporting battle and, and all sorts of sports, isn't it? What does it oh, mean I, to you personally? Yes, top top rivalry, isn't it? Uh, you know, having the Ashes back end of last year and the start of this year. Um, you know, everyone, the whole Australian, um, you know, population gets around it, whether, you know, they're here in the country or they're back over in England, you know, it's bragging rights. So it's uh, big for the fan and big for us, big occasion for the player as well. Some great history against the two teams um, and two teams rolling into a World Cup next year. So that's exciting. Can we expect anything different in the way that we're going to play the game, like given the side that's been named? Um, we're a year further into our development now. So we made some good shifts last year. It's not a reinvention of the wheel. Um, Dave and uh, his crew and us as players, you know, are, are seeing a trajectory of where we want this team to go um, on the field. So, you know, we've got to deliver that. We've got a um, great opportunity to do that against England, who, um, you know, a really top class team in three games against, which, you know, you don't get a huge amount of in test rugby. So, um, yeah, look, we, we just need to evolve our rugby again, take it to another level from last year. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I haven't been in the camp. I haven't had my ear to the ground on that stuff, so I guess that's an England thing. Are the Wallabies a different team now from the majority of those losses? Um, uh, Dave Daddy plays one, but seven and four under Checo. Is it, are you playing a different style and therefore you know, suited to beating England now? Do you oh, we're a different team in terms of personnel and staff and everything, so I mean, just purely on a names basis were very different. Um, we play a different style than we when we did. 
Um, but the game is evolving. Um, we need to evolve with that and try and cut the, uh, you know, be cutting edge as well. So look, we're we're proud of our game, and, and we hope we can show that to the, you know, our fans tomorrow night. Pretty consistent those losses you've been able to move from no, not off the top of my head. So, forward back, um, Dan and Dave went talking about the brutality that's going to be required. Is there much of a difference in that forward back? Is it bigger? Is it more powerful? Or is it more explosive than in the past? Oh, certainly, they look big standing around. I'm quite short in comparison to a lot of them. Um, a test match footy uh, demands a, you know, a physical game. It's, it's hard, it's confrontational. Um, you know, there's usually more ball in play time, so then there's an athleticism on top of not only the brutality, but the ability to repeat and do that over and over again. Um, you know, we picked a forward pack that we can, that can do that and deliver that um, tomorrow and got some good, great guys coming off um, off the pine too who had some good flair and did that last year in Pete Samu. You know, Matty Phillip was a real uh, pillar for us last year as well. Um, so, uh, you know, and then some guys getting cracked there in the starting team too, which is, uh, which is great for our, um, I guess our squad, a year out from the cup. For reflecting on 2016, there was times, particularly in that second match, we didn't always take shots of goals. Do you think it's going to be a game where you've got to take the points? Uh, well, the, every game is going to demand a different thing. Um, to sat, stand here now and say that, yeah, we'll be taking things of points, I think it's accurate. We've got to, you know, um, take our opportunities. When we get down there, we want to take points, yes. Um, and then when, you know, if we have momentum, yeah, what does that look like going to the corner? we we got to be confident in backing our game to go to the corner, take points and get back down there uh, to their end of the field and apply pressure. And know that um, the English are going to have their own plans of how to avoid that at all costs. So, you know, um, no, to stand here and say, yeah, we will be doing this, I, I don't think it's fair. Like for the guys who were involved in 2016, did that sit with you for a while? That hasn't happened before that result, and is that a real massive motivation this time to right those wrongs? Uh, we get to play in front of our fans at home. That's a, that's huge motivation. Um, we've got um, lofty goals as a team of where we want to take it. So you know that requires us to be to be performing well and winning games. Um, I don't think there's too many guys from from um, in our team now that were there in 16, but I'm sure that. You know, if they weren't, then they were watching that with, um, you know, with a keen eye, wanting to be a part of it. Now, now we get our opportunity. Um, you know, six years later. Um, so yeah, I mean, we just got to go out there, and we just got to go out there and do it. And um, yeah, that's cool. Last couple of things, guys. Um, Dave, you guys have been on such a coast for a while, kind of hidden away to a large extent. Do you, do you kind of want to shop, shop the world, shop the world a bit? Well, we don't think we've been hiding. Uh, we just think it's a really good camp setup. Um, we, we enjoyed our time on the on, you know up there in um, southeast Queensland or a bit up north this time around. Um, it's great training conditions, you know. It's, it's hot. Um, the grounds are good. The facilities are fantastic. Um, you know, we just want to grow our game and evolve, like I said earlier. Michael, how do you find playing in Perth with the support of about 50,000 fans off the stadium? Last time you played in the All Blacks, that played pretty well for you. How do you find it playing in that stadium? Oh, we've love taking our games over here um particularly you know since optus has been, <laughs> been around i mean we liked it beforehand as well um getting over here there's some great rugby fans great rugby supporters we're here for a long time you know um last year we didn't know when the game was going to be played um we finally got put on a date so we got a lot of chances to go out to the community and and the rugby community in particular and and see the the groundswell of um you know fans and public that just love the game um and that was that's been represented by you know everyone who's come out um such a great atmosphere in that stadium. Uh, we played afternoon games there the last two times, so a bit different. There, we watched a bit of the league the other night just to see what it was like. Um, you know, playing a bit of nighttime rugby there, um, and I mean, it looks pretty cool when it lights up and the lights are going around, and the smoke's going. So, great, uh, great spectacle for us and, and people out there. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.